All right, uh, to get started with using the new icon automation tool, um, you will just need a couple of prerequisites and a couple of resources uh, along the way here. So we'll jump into those first. Uh, first off, you're gonna need a param editor. Map Studio is kind of the go-to for that kind of stuff. That's gonna be used for assigning the uh, new icons to whatever it is that you are adding them for. Uh, you'll also need Mod Engine 2, which is kind of a given at this point, but we will say it anyways. And then you'll also need to have your game directory unpacked. At the very least, the menu folder of your game directory needs to be unpacked. That can be done using the Selective Unpacker tool UXM. You will also obviously need the Icon Automator tool. Um, super easy to get the Icon Automator tool. You're just going to need to download the Elden Ring mod tool launcher. So far it has the Fiverr Editor, the GPRAM Studio, and the Icon tool in it. Uh, super easy to get that. You can snag that from either within my Discord server. I have a mod making resources channel with a bunch of uh, resources and whatnot. One of them being the launcher itself. You can just download that, get that started up. Or you can get it from the tools and resources channel from the server name modding discord as well. All right, and now we're going to get kind of set up here. The first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, have a nice opened up mod folder in your mod engine directory here. Um, the most important thing that you're going to need is this menu folder. You can just make a new menu folder slap it in there and then you're going to need to go to your game directory over here and if you only unpack the menu folder you just need to go into that within the game directory and then copy the hi folder from within that and then go ahead and paste it inside of your menu folder within your mod directory that is all you need to do in terms of using your actual game directory at this point so we will go ahead and close that Next, we're gonna get started with using the Icon Automator tool. But before we start actually using the tool, I'm just going to cover a few things as far as the way that the images that you're plugging into it need to be structured and named. So we will go ahead and open up one of my files that I'm working on. I'm working on kind of a Zelda mod to some extent here, but um, as far as the images that you are making to import into the game, they need to follow a certain naming structure. They need to be named menu, knowledge, underscore, and then the ID. This general range, the 45,000 to 48,000 or so, is all pretty good and has shown to work pretty well at that point. So just note that the images that you want to import need to follow a naming structure and they need to be saved as DDS as well. It will tell you if you don't do it right, but I just figure I will let you know right out the gate here. Next up is the doing it part. So to get kind of set up here, you just need to go into the game mod folder, browse right here. And this is just gonna make you go find your mod directory, which is pretty easy. You just go into your mod directory and go into the menu folder, select the high folder, and there you go. You're good there. Icon images right here. You are just going to go to wherever the directory is for your images. They could be on your desktop, you could have them in a separate folder, whatever the case. We just talked about the naming structure for it, so we will just go ahead and select this one right here, and then drop it in there. And then there are the layout folders or files here. Uh, these are just the different icon sheets that your icon will be added to. Um, three is the default i don't think it particularly matters too much which one it is that you select but if you have a way that you're trying to order it you can take a look at those and decide for yourself you can also edit the padding for the icon sheet and then the maximum number of rows as well um, 
Once you have that kind of set up, you can just click the automate button and it'll take a couple of seconds to run through it. I'm not going to do that because I already have this icon in there with that ID, so I don't want to cram it in on top of it. But once that is done, you can see what it should look like within your high folder here. It should end up with a lot of back folders in it. Those are just backups of everything that was edited or changed. So if for some reason break stuff, you can delete the current one and then restore the backups. The next thing that you will want to do is you're going to want to hop into your map studio editor here so that you can assign those new icons. Um, depending on how you're doing it here, I'm adding them to some goods. So depending on how you're doing it, uh, adding it to a weapon or whatnot, you will just navigate between goods, protector, weapons, uh, whatever it is you're adding icons for. Um, if you are simply replacing something that is existing in the game, you would just navigate to that. If you have already added a new line and new item and that kind of stuff, you'll just navigate to that. So in this instance, we'll just go to uh, the heart container here and I'll show you over here on the right, there is a little icon ID field right here. This is where you'll plug in whatever the ID is um, that you had set up for your icon image before you imported it. So if you remember, we had to follow a naming structure and the ID that we gave it was 45,001 because that range between 45,000 and 48,000 is pretty safe and good for icons. Um, once you've assigned that, you can make whatever other edits you want to with it and then just go ahead and save it and then you can go ahead and launch the game, which we will do really quick just to kind of show you uh, what it looks like in the game. All right, and then here we are in the game here, you can see, so I added this as an item for the crafting menu here as the heart container, so you can see it right here. It's showing up on the screen. I gave it text and all that kind of stuff. Yours will not have that by default unless you are simply replacing and editing an existing item. If you're adding new text and whatnot, there's there's other things you got to do. But um, roof is in the pudding right there. There's the icon that's in game. Super easy peasy. It'll show up in any of the menus. Um, I believe it will pack it in nice and good for you. So uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. If it was not, uh, just let me know if you have questions, hop into my Discord or just leave a comment. Um, I'll have more guides coming out this week, probably. So go ahead and leave a like and follow, uh, subscribe, all that kind of whatnot.